Whether it's to lose weight or just to feel healthier, more and more people are paying attention to what they eat. That's right, but Jimmy Rhodes found that the food labels you're trusting for that important info contain some tricky words, enough that they could derail your diet. Decoding food label landmines is our featured story at the top of the list. If you are what you eat, you are what you put in your grocery cart first. So you do your best, but Some food labels could fake you out and make it even harder to make healthy choices. Yeah. Consumer experts Lisa Lee Freeman and Mandy Walker from the Hot Shopping Tips website and podcast say food labels can be tricky. The FDA is overhauling food labels, but in the meantime, they might sound healthier than they really are. So we're running down some food label landmines, starting with natural. When you see that word on a label, you think non-toxic and healthy. You might even associate it with organic, but there is no legal definition for the word natural. Yeah, it can contain all kinds of artificial ingredients, artificial colors, and things that you kind of want to stay away from, like high fructose corn syrup. And don't be fooled by all natural, which is pretty much the same thing as regular old natural. That all is legally meaningless. The next tricky terms on labels, reduced or less. Less sodium, less sugar, less fat. The problem is that the original version may contain so much of that stuff that having less of it doesn't really mean anything. That's like saying now with reduced robocalls. Sorry, cutting them by half still puts me at five too many per day. A better word to look for is low. Low calorie, low sugar. And the reason is that amount of calories or sugar or sodium is capped by the government in order for that product to call itself low. Okay, here's one that fooled me, multigrain. Just because there's multiple grains doesn't mean they're good grains. If it doesn't contain whole grains, you're not getting the fiber and nutrients you might think that you are. So instead of multi-grain, look for the 100% whole grain stamp. That means each serving of the food contains a full serving of whole grains. Finally, be careful about fat-free. A lot of times when companies take out the fat, they put in a lot of stuff to make it taste better and to improve the texture, like more sugar or more sodium or things that you may not want in your food. You might not like the trade-off. For example, fat-free yogurt or salad dressings might contain thickeners and artificial colors and flavors and other additives. Blech. The bottom line? Always check the nutrition label when you're buying a product. Don't trust front label claims. Often, they're just a bunch of marketing. Watching out for tricky food labels. It's at the top of the list.